the climax of the group stages of the Volvo World Match Play Championship, and today the field was to be cut in half, making the final group matches crucial for many in the field. Though some were in control of their destiny, others needed the results elsewhere to go in their favour to make the weekend. As if the prospect of being crowned champion was not enough, there are five different chances for the players to win one of Volvo's hole-in-one prizes this week. As well as the newly launched Volvo XC90, there is a Volvo V40 car, an FH truck, a backhoe loader, and even a Volvo Penta engine up for grabs. Every single one of the par threes on the international course boasts an impressive reward for the elusive hole-in-one. I think people have been surprised at the number of prizes that are actually on offer uh, for the golfer to, to win. So enough from the general public have, have, have commented on that as I've been walking around talking to people. It's a fantastic opportunity to get our products into, uh, into the public eye and it's just great to get that exposure for our equipment um, on such a global event. That's such a global event, so yeah, it's fantastic. In the first match of the day, Patrick Reed became the second player after Victor Dubuisson to reach the final eight beating Jamie Donaldson 3-2. The second qualifier from the McCormack group had to be decided via sudden death as Paul Casey and Jonas Blixt were inseparable after 18 holes. Blixt won on the first playoff hole and was relieved to make it to the weekend. <laughs> Today was quite a match. Wow, it was, uh, it was by far the best match I ever played. I, never, I think I never really shot 10 under either, so I um, feel bad that he, he has to go home now. But, uh, Wish we both that would have gone through after a match like that. Pablo Larathabal joined Dubuisson as the second player from the Gabrielson group to proceed as he beat Shane Lowry 2 and 1. In the Larson group, Mikko Ilonen ended Alexander Levy's match play bid with a one hole victory, and Joost Leuten knocked out defending champion Graham McDowell by a margin of two holes, giving him confidence going into the weekend. It was nice to go one up uh, down the left, you know, so the, the pressure was off a little bit and um, yeah, it was just a very good comeback. Anybody here in the weekend needs to have a good day to, to go through to, to the Sunday. So it's a new day, new chances and match play is, uh, is a funny format and anything can happen. In the Palmer group, Henrik Stenson kept his nerve to win 2-1 and one over Tong Chai JD and he was joined by George Katsia despite the South African losing 2-1 and one to Francesco Molinari. And so, 16 becomes 8 and for those remaining, Tomorrow is win or go home.